Hello and welcome to our reflection for Wednesday in the third week of Advent. Another reflection today from Father Andrew and from his book Meditations for Every Day. But first let us hear our passage of scripture. We move on to the second chapter of St Luke's Gospel, the first seven verses. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Father Andrew's reflection is entitled, No Room, it is a very sad thing to consider that on the first of two great occasions which came in his life, the national occasion of the census, our Lord was completely unnoticed. And on the second, the religious occasion of the feast of the Passover, he was rejected and murdered. The great God came into his world, clothed in the vesture of humanity, to take his share in that part of the world's history in which human life would be spent, and his entry was unnoticed and unknown, except by some simple shepherds, some wise men who were outside the Jewish nation altogether, and a few saints like Simeon and Anna. Why was it that those people did not recognise Jesus when he came? Because their lives were so crowded with what they called religion, and with all sorts of worldly things, that they could not get close to him and see him. Here is the most wonderful thing that ever happened. It is not merely a baby, though a baby is a wonderful thing enough. But God manifests as a baby, and they did not see him. They had no room for him. In the circumstances of life, circumstances as humble as a manger, as commonplace as a carpenter's shop, and almost as tragic and awful as the cross, he comes to us. He comes to seek and save that which is lost, to bring light to our darkness, strength to our weakness, peace to our loneliness. And we have to make a great act of faith that he really is here in our midst. The Lord is at hand. Let us try before Christmas to make room in our souls for Jesus. We think probably too much of our coming to our Lord and too little of his coming to us. When God came to earth, he came in disguise that only the poor and penitent and humble and the people of goodwill could penetrate. But when they could penetrate this disguise, there in the common straw of human poverty, under the form of a child, in the dim shadows of an eastern carpenter's shop, under the form of a carpenter at his day's work, in the deep darkness of a night of sorrow, under the form of a man dying in the dark. There was he of whom they were able to cry with real faith, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, that is our God, and that is what Christmas means, that the great God shrank down to the dimensions of a child to reach children, that he took quivering, suffering human flesh, that he might be beaten and wounded and reveal his heart to the whole of humanity. Let us pray. In a manger at Bethlehem, they saw Jesus. In a 
carpenter's shop at Nazareth, they saw Jesus. On a cross at Calvary, they saw Jesus. In an upper room and in a garden, they saw Jesus. In the birth of a child and in the love of a parent, we see Jesus. In our meeting with one another, we see Jesus. In our joys and in our sorrows, we see Jesus. In our doubts and questionings, we see Jesus. Seeing him, Lord, help us to love him, to make room for him, and to share our lives with him. Amen.